fancy and we're going all out here. We're out on these new radio bikes. <laughs> ah, dear world. Our radio bikes powered by the radio bikes. So best, best keep pedaling. The best keep pedaling even when the story stops. And that's why we're out here cycling to report to you. Dear everybody, <laughs> cycling to meet you. Where are you? Why not phone us? Our fingers are on the buttons. Not because of that old radio car, old cozy Nissan microphone into the bikes. Summerhall switchboard kept functioning by sheer pedal power. Our feet going round and round like something like Ashbury's instruction manual. <laughs> Like Emily Dickinson's after great pain, of ground, of air, or aught, regardless, groan. In any case, our guest, David Guest, vanished, which leaves me and he tinkling our guns. It reminds me of Jim Nocky introducing Jeremy Hunt. <laughs> Tell us where you are. Tell us, in fact, where we are. Is this the D? The same? We're all here. If this was the same, that would sort of make sense. But to be zero, it sort of makes sense, doesn't it, Ian Morrison? <laughs> yes. Uh, now, wasn't the summer hall the name of the police station in the bill? Now, that was a programme. That was a programme. That was television. That was television worth repeating. Cops on the beat, they on the street. Today, we're going all out here, all going for it, to bring you the latest city views, news, reviews, and cultural clues to help you choose Celtic shows. <laughs> <laughs> sitting in a corner. We can't control what the other side are up to. Did he smile during the reading? Which is why we focus on what we can do. He smiled occasionally. Which is work our trousers off. One boy <laughs> sitting in the performance area on the back line to avoid conceding. By accident and didn't move. I don't blame the manager. Wasn't moved, would you say? He has his job to do. He and he did it. He kept reading his comic. But when it comes to it, on the field, Reading selections of published and unpublished work, it's us responsible. And if we didn't perform, taking it in turn, we didn't perform. Mm -hmm. I would say though that the future looks really bright. There's a lot of good things happening. Some people came in to smoke on bikes. No, into the bar room and didn't leave. We had a lot of chances. We just kept throwing our chances away. Sadly, you've missed them now. But rumours have it they'll be reprising their performance shortly at Sun Hill. And now, let's turn ourselves on to the latest La La Line from Kalolan the Blue Laird. <laughs> you know what's really easy? Writing poems. <laughs> and not just experimental ones or a cozy off cuff type ones, <laughs> but even ones that are highly planned and ricocheting, <laughs> patterned, or deeply resonant across all bows. The sort of forms where you have to remember that a bow is just one tiny little fleck from tough. Or even just one tiny little rotation of the very same flag. But seriously, even those poems are really easy. And you know what's difficult? Writing songs and making films, that's really difficult. But it seems as though. Like that. It's 
remarkably not the esque, is it? It's not the esque, it's not the esque, now that really is a not the esque coin. Listeners, we can do a lesson as we release the date of a new release. From Ian Satchmo Morrison! <laughs> release dates, date releases, when released to you the market. Look for futile and you'll find him. Selling now from vendors is stacked with stunning balladry rewarding close attendance. Oh, when will I be free from you? Surely it's standout hit. Pre-release predates releases re-released to certain markets. Look for futile and you'll find him, then again from sellers pre-packaged with stunning ballad hits, rewarding to revisit. The relationship has foundered lad, still tugging at the heartstrings. Re-release predates us with unfettered days. We were as yet unreleashed, laying down our summer tracks. Sounds now less recherché, fifteen years since first released. Do you, do you want us to? Shall we, shall we, shall we? Which leaves us just time to ask one probing dilemma, which we will be debating tomorrow evening on the moral malaise. What <laughs> windmills do you have in mind when you listen to the windmills of my mind. <laughs> and now it's time to summer haul it up a bit. Let's take a look at that new film, that new biopic about summer hauls, homegrown, mega massive. Or should that be meta massive? Poetry success story, starring Colin Farrell and Colin Firth as its charismatic leads. The section when they went to New York was way overplayed. But first off, just do you pronounce the title? No, I meant to. That's the question that's keeping wee pundits soft pellets twisting. <laughs> Not since Synecdoche, New York has won films that <laughs> the tongues of the chattering class are so wag, so abosh, with disputational spittle. <laughs> Soviet influence? Nay. Scottish <laughs> influence? No. Germanic <laughs> influence? Their pronunciation was really off. Why didn't the actors with the appropriate accent? Why, sorry, why the hell didn't they get actors with the appropriate accent for the characters? It's a Randy Zellweger and Bridget Jones syndrome all over again. The one meant to be Kevin Williams and kept in pasta instead of pasta. It's funny because the actors sounded exactly like James Nasty, the very same. Ooh, ooh, just a text. Ooh, it's a tweet. It's from listener Anne Suez. Keep up the good work, boys. Bye, Sam. Oh, I don't know what you thought about that, Ian, but I really think it's appalling that the filmmakers seem to have mistaken Seamus Heaney for being Scottish and Rachel McCrum. A spatial special issue looking at the value of collaboration. A spatial collaboration looking at the value issue. A spatial looking at the social coagulation issuing from good value. And are you getting it? And does it, con it does it indeed continue to be good value. Even after we depart this funny little stage you call your living room. Your kitchen. Your cute little douche. Your bathtub. Your summer house. Your glory hole. Colin. 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 Morrison. Appealing to all you listeners out there to keep up with us on the tour to that it's been our pleasure to coody 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 to you today. Next week, with our guest David Guest, we're discussing Barbara Guest. Who'd have guessed it? <laughs> Benjamin O'Hara, Benjamin Schuyler. Schuyler. We pronounce the public vote just before we call time. Blood doping brings heavy benefits, bringing you ahead of the city smart pack with our smarty pants dynamo power chat. And uh, time. Just time. Just time. Just in time. For a look ahead of next bill's program, we're going to be bringing you a sort of in depth for which all encompassing painstakingly put together, and we're going to have to rush you. I'm really going to have to encourage you to wrap this up. Yes, you may. Revisit and see the four or five seconds of your earthly time to get to get to get to grips with the importance of ten seconds of Scottish independence. <laughs> Thank you.
Dysfunction. 